Megacity, Wikipedia article audio A megacity is usually defined as a metropolitan area with a total population in excess of 10 million people. A megacity can be a single metropolitan area or two or more metropolitan areas that converge. The terms conurbation, metropolis, and metroplex are also applied to the latter. Largest Cities History Growth Challenges Slums Crime Homelessness Traffic congestion Urban sprawl Gentrification Air pollution Energy and material resources In fiction As of 2017, there are 47 megacities in existence. The largest of these are the metropolitan areas of Tokyo, Shanghai, and Jakarta each having a population of over 30 million inhabitants. China alone has 15 megacities. The United States has two megacities, the metropolitan areas of New York City and Los Angeles. This is the list of world's largest cities and metropolitan areas by population as of 2016. The term megacity entered common use in the late 19th or early 20th centuries. One of the earliest documented uses of the term was by the University of Texas in 1904. Initially the United Nations used the term to describe cities of 8 million or more inhabitants, but now uses the threshold of 10 million. In 1800, only 3% of the world's population lived in cities, a figure that rose to 47% by the end of the 20th century. In 1950, there were 83 cities with populations exceeding 1 million, by 2007, this number had risen to 468. The UN forecasts that today's urban population of 3.2 billion will rise to nearly 5 billion by 2030, when 3 out of 5 people will live in cities. This increase will be most dramatic on the least urbanized continents, Asia, and Africa. Surveys and projections indicate that all urban growth over the next 25 years will be in developing countries. 1 billion people almost one-seventh of the world's population, now live in shanty towns. In many poor countries overpopulated slums exhibit high rates of disease due to unsanitary conditions, malnutrition, and lack of basic health care. By 2030, over 2 billion people in the world will be living in slums. Over 90% of the urban population of Ethiopia, Malawi, and Uganda, three of the world's most rural countries, already live in slums. By 2025, Asia alone will have at least 30 megacities, including Mumbai, India, Shanghai, China, Delhi, India, Tokyo, Japan, and Seoul, South Korea. In Africa, Lagos. Nigeria has grown from 300,000 in 1950 to an estimated 21 million today. For almost 500 years, Rome was the largest, wealthiest, and most politically important city in Europe. Its population passed 1 million people by the end of the 1st century BC. Rome's population started declining in 402 AD when Flavius Honorius, Western Roman Emperor from 395 to 423, moved the government to Ravenna and Rome's population declined to a mere 20,000 during the early Middle Ages, reducing the sprawling city to groups of inhabited buildings interspersed among large areas of ruins and vegetation. Baghdad was likely the largest city in the world from shortly after its foundation in 762 AD until the 930s, with some estimates putting its population at over 1 million. 
Chinese capital cities Chang'an and Kaifeng also experienced huge population booms during prosperous empires. According to the census in the year 742 recorded in the New Book of Tang, 362,921 families with 1,960,188 persons were counted in Jingzhaofu, the metropolitan area including small cities in the vicinity of Chang'an. The medieval settlement surrounding Angkor, the one-time capital of the Khmer Empire which flourished between the 9th and 15th centuries, could have supported a population of up to 1 million people. From around 1825 to 1918 London was the largest city in the world, with the population growing rapidly, it was the first city to reach a population of over 5 million in 1900. In 1950, New York City was the only urban area with a population of over 10 million. Geographers had identified 25 such areas as of October 2005, as compared with 19 megacities in 2004 and only 9 in 1985. This increase has happened as the world's population moves towards the high urbanization levels of North America and Western Europe. Since the 20 hundreds, the largest megacity has been the Greater Tokyo area. The population of this urban agglomeration includes areas such as Yokohama and Kawasaki, and is estimated to be between 37 and 38 million. This variation in estimates can be accounted for by different definitions of what the area encompasses. While the prefectures of Tokyo, Chiba, Kanagawa, and Saitama are commonly included in statistical information, the Japan Statistics Bureau only includes the area within 50 kilometers of the Tokyo Metropolitan Government offices in Shinjuku, thus arriving at a smaller population estimate. A characteristic issue of megacities is the difficulty in defining their outer limits and accurately estimating the populations. Another list defines megacities as urban agglomerations instead of metropolitan areas. As of 2010, there are 25 megacities by this definition, like Tokyo. Other sources list Nagoya and the Rhine Ruhr as megacities. According to the United Nations, the proportion of urban dwellers living in slums decreased from 47% to 37% in the developing world between 1990 and 2005. However, due to rising population, the absolute number of slum dwellers is rising. The majority of these come from the fringes of urban margins located in legal and illegal settlements with insufficient housing and sanitation. This has been caused by massive migration, both internal and transnational, into cities, which has caused growth rates of urban populations and spatial concentrations not seen before in history. These issues raise problems in the political, social, and economic arenas. Slum dwellers often have minimal or no access to education, health care, or the urban economy. As with any large concentration of people, there is usually crime. High population densities, placing lots of people together, invariably result in higher crime rates, as visibly seen in growing megacities such as Karachi, Mumbai, Cairo, Rio de Janeiro, and Lagos. Megacities often have significant numbers of homeless people. The actual legal definition of homelessness varies from country to country, or among different entities or institutions in the same country or region. In 2002, research showed that children and families were the largest growing segment of the homeless population in the United States and this has presented new challenges, especially in services, to agencies. In the USA, 
the government asked many major cities to come up with a 10-year plan to end homelessness. One of the results of this was a housing-first solution, rather than to have a homeless person remain in an emergency homeless shelter it was thought to be better to quickly get the person permanent housing of some sort and the necessary support services to sustain a new home. But there are many complications with this kind of program and these must be dealt with to make such an initiative work successfully in the middle to long term. Traffic congestion is a condition on road networks that occurs as use increases, and is characterized by slower speeds, longer trip times, increased pollution, and increased vehicular queuing. The Texas Transportation Institute estimated that, in 2000, the 75 largest metropolitan areas experienced 3.6 billion vehicle hours of delay, resulting in 5.7 billion U.S. gallons in wasted fuel and $67.5 billion in lost productivity, or about 0.7% of the nation's GDP. It also estimated that the annual cost of congestion for each driver was approximately $1,000 in very large cities and $200 in small cities. Traffic congestion is increasing in major cities and delays are becoming more frequent in smaller cities and rural areas. Urban sprawl, also known as suburban sprawl, is a multifaceted concept which includes the spreading outwards of a city and its suburbs to its outskirts to low-density, auto-dependent development on rural land, with associated design features that encourage car dependency. As a result, some critics argue that sprawl has certain disadvantages including longer transport distances to work, high car dependence, inadequate facilities, and higher per-person infrastructure costs. Discussions and debates about sprawl are often obfuscated by the ambiguity associated with the phrase. For example, some commentators measure sprawl only with the average number of residential units per acre in a given area. But others associate it with decentralization, discontinuity, segregation of uses, etc. Gentrification and urban gentrification denote the socio-cultural changes in an area resulting from wealthier people buying housing property in a less prosperous community. Consequent to gentrification, the average income increases and average family size decreases in the community, which may result in the informal economic eviction of the lower income residents, because of increased rents, house prices, and property taxes. This type of population change reduces industrial land use when it is redeveloped for commerce and housing. In addition, new businesses, catering to a more affluent base of consumers, tend to move into formerly blighted areas, further increasing the appeal to more affluent migrants and decreasing the accessibility to less wealthy natives. Air pollution is the introduction into the atmosphere of chemicals, particulate matter, or biological materials that cause harm or discomfort to humans or other living organisms, or damages the natural environment. Many urban areas have significant problems with smog, a type of air pollution derived from vehicle emissions from internal combustion engines and industrial fumes that react in the atmosphere with sunlight to form secondary pollutants that also combine with the primary emissions to form photochemical smog. Smog is also caused by large amounts of coal burning, which creates a mixture of smoke and sulfur dioxide. World coal consumption was about 6,743,786,000 short tons in 2006 and is expected to increase 48% to 9.98 billion short tons by 2030. China produced 2.38 billion tons in 2006. India produced about 447.3 million tons in 2006. 
68.7% of China's electricity comes from coal. The USA consumes about 14% of the world total, using 90% of it for generation of electricity. The sheer size and complexity of megacities gives rise to enormous social and environmental challenges. Whether megacities can develop sustainably depends to a large extent on how they obtain, share, and manage their energy and material resources. There are correlations between electricity consumption, heating, and industrial fuel use, ground transportation energy use, water consumption, waste generation, and steel production in terms of level of consumption and how efficiently they use resources. Megacities are a common backdrop in dystopian science fiction, with examples such as The Sprawl and William Gibson's Neuromancer, and Megacity One, a megalopolis of between 50 and 800 million people across the east coast of the United States, in the Judge Dredd comic. In Demolition Man a megacity called San Angeles was formed from the joining of Los Angeles, Santa Barbara, San Diego, and the surrounding metropolitan regions following a massive earthquake in 2010. Fictional planet-wide megacities include Trantor in Isaac Asimov's Foundation series of books and Coruscant in the Star Wars universe. 1. Tokyo Yokohama, 2. Shanghai, 3. Jakarta, 4. Delhi, 5. Solinchan, 6. Karachi, 7. Guangzhou, 8. Beijing, 9. Shenzhen, 7. Mexico City, 11. Sao Paulo, 12. Lagos, 13. Mumbai, 14. Cairo, 15. New York, 16. Osaka, 17. Moscow, 18. Wuhan, 19 Chengdu, 20 Dhaka